it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today we're getting into some candles and diffusers. It's been a minute since I picked up some new candles, so wanted to check these out. I, pick, I did an order through Candle Delirium. Not sponsored, just letting you know where I picked up my candles. They have a large variety of candles and they do offer discount codes and as I was able to find a discount code to use if you sign up for their emails you, they mail you random discount codes you can use for a few days that's what i did i got 15 percent off this whole order which is pretty awesome because this stuff is not cheap so i got a diffuser from dr veronis this is the rosso noble diffuser i got a candle another candle from melon and goet the tomato one and then I got one from PF Candle Co. Never tried anything from this brand before. I got teakwood and tobacco. So let's start with the diffuser. I'm not going to open it up. I'm not going to try it because I have a diffuser from Diptyque in my bathroom right now going but when that is done I will open up this bad boy and let you guys know. I'll probably do a separate video on my thoughts on it. <laughs> Look at this bottle though. This is like so exquisite and it looks like wine. It's supposed to kind of smell like wine, I believe. Uh, this is the Home Fragrance made in Dover, Delaware. Interesting. This is very luxe brand. They have different home fragrances. I believe this is one of their most popular ones. When I can't smell it it's sealed but when I open the box I can kind of get a whiff of like red wine like very light touches of red wine in the box so I imagine that is what it smells like this is 250 mils this is I believe one of the smallest sizes they sell and they smell really gigantic refills and just large diffusers if you had a big room you get a a huge one I this is a hundred dollars I got 15% off I want to try it we'll see what the hype is about one of you guys recommended that I get something from this brand because it lasts a long time and is strong uh, so I picked it up it has orange strawberry and red berries and birch wood it is made in Italy it says even though I guess maybe it's distributed in Delaware I'm excited to try that one out when I'm ready for it. Um, it does come with these black, 10 black diffuser sticks in this packaging. This is, you're supposed to use all the sticks, put it into the glass bottle, turn over once or twice a day to adjust the intensity. Don't drop the fragrance because it may damage fabrics and furniture. So there's 10 sticks in here. This seems really long but I guess it makes sense for the height of the bottle, maybe. Can't, can't smell it, can't smell it, but this is gorgeous and it does look like a bottle of like alcohol. Let's get into Melon and Goats and Goets. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. This is tomato. This is nine grams to 55 grams here. Kind of a largish candle. 14% tomato perfume oil. Tomate perfume oil. Inspired by Andrew and Matthew's passion for gardening. This bright interpretation of tomatoes opens with fresh notes of basil, green ivy, vine ripened tomatoes, mint leaves, and is softened with notes of cedarwood and green pepper. These are handmade in Brooklyn. We use a vegetable wax and a cotton wick. I have to say, so I burned this last night for the first time. Uh, apparently I didn't make it all the way across. But when I opened it, I was disappointed because it's not very strong tomato. I do kind of smell the basil and mint in here now that I read the notes. It's kind of a clean tomato and it's a subdued tomato, which I am honestly disappointed by. And when I burned it, I felt like, uh, again, I felt overwhelmed, underwhelmed by the cold throw and the hot throw. Like it, it wasn't doing it for me. So I, so 
so far first impressions I'm disappointed I'll have to keep trying it let you guys know what I think I think it's just okay and that's probably because I have another tomato candle that I prefer <laughs> uh, the one that I like is from Carrere Freres they're just plain tomato one they probably use a different wax to make it stronger but this is like pure green tomato there's like I can't smell much else with it and it, so it makes it a really strong tomato scent which is what I wanted with this one you know I kind of wanted another tomato candle but it just kind of smells like soap um and I have another melon and goats candle cannabis it just kind of smells like soapy it's mostly smells like soap to me like very strong like masculine body wash like manly soap there's a little bit of a danky kind of a smell where you kind of get that weed a little bit but it's pretty underwhelming it's mostly soapiness to me so I don't know if this is like a trend with this candle brand to just kind of go with the clean soapy vibe because they do make bath products this is much stronger of a throw, cold throw at least, even though it is clean, it's pretty strong. I'm not getting much out of this. It's very weak, so disappointed by that because this is a, what, $50 candle? All right, on to the last one I have here, number four, Teakwood and Tobacco from PF Candle Co. This is a soy candle, 100% soy wax. Pretty simple packaging. This is... They do make larger candles than this, this is one of their smaller ones, just because I've never tried anything from the brand. Um, I don't have, they don't have the ounces or anything on here. Oh, here we are, 7.2 ounces, 204 grams. I would say a little bit, a little bit small, but... So the cold throw is not bad on here, it's... Um, I get tobacco and like also something sweet and I, I don't I don't get like a, a wood smell as much like a little bit of something sweet in here I'm not sure what it is there's no box packaging it just comes like this so I don't know what the notes are in here it kind of reminds me of under layer the tobacco from Tom Ford, Tobacco Vanille. Maybe there's a little something vanilla in here. But when I smelled the cold throw and the hot throw, I didn't get a lot out of it. I didn't get a lot coming from it. So it smells good, but not super strong. I'm a little underwhelmed. <laughs> not a bad candle. If you like soy, this is very clean. Soy is very clean burning. So that could, you know, contribute to why it's not quite as strong as other candles I have. Also, this isn't a large candle, so again, contrib contributes to how well it goes into the room. But I burned this several hours today, burned it clean across. I don't know, I didn't really get much out of it, so I don't know. Maybe I picked the wrong one. Is there a stronger, better scent than this one from PF Candle Co? let me know in the comments below maybe i'm not doing something right all right i'm gonna look up the official notes of what's in here just to be sure teak wood and tobacco i believe this is one of their best sellers that's why i picked it up so this is a 24 dollar candle so about half the cost of this guy this is they say this is the one that started it all some call it a the boyfriend set we call it og leather teak and orange okay so maybe it's orange that I'm smelling. That's the sweet one. Sweet part of it. Huh, that's it. That's it for the notes. So maybe it's just orange I'm smelling in here. But let me know what other scents you are liking from this brand. Maybe I just need to get a bigger one to get more of a strong throw. I just never tried it. It burned nicely though. Right across. No issues. Very well performing for the price. And it, it's a unique enough scent. I will give it that. I just probably need to try something else. Uh, but let me know what candle brands you guys want me to try out. If there's anything specific that's new, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. 
subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.